So let's start frothing some milk. I'm just going to set the wand to the cappuccino more foam setting, essentially. And I can do that by adjusting this wand. I'm just going to... Oops. <laughs> that almost got messy. <laughs> Let me do that again. <laughs> I did get lucky. All right. One more time. <laughs> Getting messy here. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com. Thank you as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by AromaCup.com. Today I'm going to be showing you the different ways that you can froth milk using Nespresso single serve options. And uh, so I'm gonna be comparing the three major ways that you can do that from Nespresso side by side by side. And I'm gonna do that using the Nespresso Maestria uh, single serve espresso machine. I've done a full review of this machine. You can check that out in our other videos. We're gonna show you how to do that using the Aerochino Plus by Nespresso. We've talked about this many times here on Aroma Cup. It's tried and true. And then finally, we're gonna show you how to do that using the, the Nespresso De Longhi single serve uh, espresso machine that has a built-in milk frother. So let's dive in and talk about how to froth milk with each of these different options. Option number one, I'm gonna talk about the Aerochino Plus. So let's just start frothing some milk first off. Now I've inserted the wand into this that's going to give me a uh, cappuccino style foam and that's the uh, frothing whisk that looks a lot more like a metal whisk. I'm gonna place the lid on this and then I'll simply press the button on the front. It's gonna spin up and start frothing my milk. So this is a tried and true method for making froth milk at home. Uh, it's really easy to use. It's basically set and forget, walk away and come back to froth milk, which I love about it. It's going to allow you to froth uh, milk for cappuccino and drinks that require more foam. And it's also going to allow you to froth milk for beverages that require less like lattes and things like that, or maybe hot cocos. And you can do that by using the separate frothing whisk that attaches to the lid of the Aerochino Plus. Important thing to mention about this is that it's a standalone unit. It's not uh, attached in this case to an espresso single serve espresso machine. So you can use any uh, Nespresso machine that you want to add to your own at home coffee shop and basically just couple it with an Aerochino. And it's fast. The Aerochino has already finished frothing my milk. I'm going to open up the lid and that's my froth milk right here. I'm just gonna pour it all into my mug. It's a pretty impressive amount of foam, I have to say. And it's really very much true foam. I mean, it's got that very kind of velvety texture that you expect from uh, foam and froth when it comes to milk. And of course, you can use any kind of milk with this. You can use flax or soy or hemp or almond or coconut. Uh, each one of those is gonna give you a different froth, but I can say that in this case, I'm using regular whole milk. That's a very impressive foam out of the Aerochino Plus. Still one of my favorite ways to make froth milk at home. Now let me show you how we can froth some milk using the Nespresso Maestria single serve espresso machine. If you like to froth your milk with a very hands-on method, this is the machine to do it with because it has a built-in frothing wand. Now I've got the wand set to the more foam setting, which is basically just with it pushed all the way down to the bottom here. And I'm just gonna take my milk, I'm going to put that directly over my frothing wand and I'm gonna turn it on. Again, this is a very hands-on method for frothing your own milk. This is the kind of method that you see used in coffee shops very frequently. I will say that when it comes to the froth that comes from this, this uh, wand, it's not as impressive as the Aerochino Plus, um, which might sound a little weird considering that I'm doing this entirely by hand but it doesn't always have that kind of velvety texture that I'm used to and that I really want with your average um, froth that you're looking for from milk. It is impressive, that is a lot of froth, but it's much larger bubbles and typically the best foam is made from very, very small bubbles and there's much larger bubbles. And I've just kind of seen that from this machine. It's, it's good and I think it might differ based on the style that you use for frothing. I've played around with it a little bit. Like I say, I've used a lot of these kind of frothing wands and so it takes a little bit of practice. But if you want to be hands-on, the Maestria is going to allow you to do that in a way that neither of the other two options I have here are going to allow you to do. 
And on to our final option, that is the Nespresso De Longhi Single Serve Espresso Machine. Again, I've reviewed this here on aromacup.com, so I won't go too much into its operation. Suffice to say, it's very quick and easy operation. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a uh, Nespresso capsule into the machine. I've already added my milk. I have my frothing apparatus connected to it, and I'm just gonna simply press the button that begins the frothing process. Now, in this case, this is pretty much just one press and go frothing. As you can see, I've already got froth happening here from the milk that I have in the, the small frothing apparatus attached to the machine. And what's gonna happen is that it's going to give me the amount of froth based on the button that I pressed on the top of the machine. In this case, I selected to have more foam. And then after that, it's going to brew my espresso. So if you want just very simple, quick, easy, one button operation, the DeLonghi machine is going to, to be the machine that you want to go for. Again, it's not very hands-on. I'm doing none of the work here at all <laughs> because now the machine is actually going to brew my coffee. This is pretty cool, I have to say. Uh, if you just want to be able to have an espresso drink at home and you don't really want to do a lot of work for it, this is going to be the way to go because I didn't even have to pour anything or anything else. I'm done. Right there, that's my entire beverage in one quick step, which I think is pretty cool. Now, of course, again, it's not very hands-on. There's not much of anything that I get to do in the process. And so that's a big difference between all of these is it depends on how much you want to be interacting with the process of making your milk froth for your beverage. So again, with the Arrochino Plus, you're gonna make that milk and you need to uh, couple that with an espresso machine for your beverage. With the Maestri machine, you're going to be able to do both, but it's gonna be a little more hands-on. And with the De Longhi, you're gonna basically place a capsule, pour some milk in, press a button, step away for a minute and a half, come back and have a beverage. So it just depends on how much work you wanna do and how picky you are about your beverage in the long run. So what's my bottom line when you're going to be adding one of these machines or accessories to your own at-home coffee shop? I think I pretty much covered it. It obviously comes down to how much work do you wanna do when you're going to be adding one of these machines and based on the beverage that you like. And of course, the cost that you're going to be spending on each of these different machines because each one is going to be a little bit more, a little bit less expensive. And that may be a factor for some of those of you when you're deciding to add this to your own at-home coffee shop. And something to note here is that the only option between these three that's going to allow you to do a cold froth is going to be the Arrochino Plus. What I mean by cold froth is you can still get that froth and foam, um, but you can do it without heating the milk up. And you can do that by simply pressing and holding the power button on the face of the Arrochino Plus. You cannot do that with either of these other options. And so if you do want to be able to have maybe an iced espresso drink or something, and you want to have milk with it, the Arrochino, again, is going to be the way for you to go. So there you have it, guys. That's a side-by-side -side -by -side comparison of all the different ways that you can froth your own milk at home using options by Nespresso. I hope you found it useful and informative, and as always, if you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them here in the comments on our video or join us at aromacup.com where we are always happy to talk coffee with our viewers. As always, guys, I'm Brian, coming to you from our virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. I wanna say thank you for joining me. Enjoy your cup, and I'll see you next time. Take care.